In the beginning, there is an overwhelming fear, not knowing what's going to happen to you, not understanding all the medical terms. It's so many things. It's so many hard things to come to terms with. Um, it's changed my life, as cliched as it sounds. I think you do appreciate the little things in life so much more. And I think that speaking to others in the same situation has been something that's really hugely helped me. Breast Cancer Care is a charity that has been around for many years and we are here to provide support and information to anybody who's affected either by breast cancer or who is worried about the signs and symptoms of breast cancer and we provide a huge range of services. We provide a helpline which is open Monday to Friday and Saturday mornings. We also provide services for people with secondary breast cancer and we provide an amazing service which is called someone like me so we can match up if you're diagnosed with breast cancer with someone who has been in a similar situation to yourself. I'm Charlie, I'm 39 and from London. I didn't have a lump in a traditional sense, I just had a hard breast. Following more scans they discovered that it had already spread and was in my bones so it was secondary breast cancer by that stage already and um, incurable. Looking into the future has become something that's harder I suppose since the diagnosis. I tend to live at the moment from scan to scan. It's hard to think about not getting married, not having a family, not having the career that I had planned. Um, but I've got lots of other things to be grateful for um, and I am grateful for them every day. So when I was initially diagnosed there was a breast care nurse at the hospital and she gave me lots of literature on that day and some of that included a pack from Breast Cancer Care. I think although my friends and family are amazing and have definitely been there for me every step of the way, they are emotionally invested in this as well and they get upset in the same way that I get upset and I think there's an element of wanting to protect your family from that. So speaking to somebody completely independent on the helpline who just understood what I was going through and didn't need a huge explanation but was able to offer me some support was really important at the beginning. It is a time when you feel really out of control and being able to find through talking with us as nurses some way to gain some of that control back is really really important for the person on the end of the phone. I know that if ever I have a question I can either ring them or message somebody or just look online and um, there'll be an answer and I now carry their telephone helpline number in my purse all the time, just in case. As Does Tickle Pink campaign has raised £60 million to date for Breast Cancer Care and Breast Cancer Now. This has funded every one in five women who use our helpline and services for the last 22 years. I'd really like to say a big thank you to Breast Cancer Care for everything that they have done to support me. I think that it would have been a whole lot harder without them. A massive thank you to ASDA and everyone who has fundraised for us at Breast Cancer Care. We could not do the work that we do to support the millions of women and men who have been diagnosed with breast cancer. Thank you.